Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow. Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! yes! Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Too <laughs> right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. Ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Mouse! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are drawing pictures. Children, today we have a visitor. Ooh! Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello! Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. 
Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Wow! That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? Because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. <laughs> OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <Yeah>. Molly, <laughs> and Emily. <laughs> the children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules. And the you're one not holding the ball. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop? Wins. <laughs> okay. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. To Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. <laughs> I like... Hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have we all had fun today, children? Yes! <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Aw, is it home time already? Yes, Mandy, it's home time. Hello, my sweet. Mummy! So, Mandy, you came today to see if you liked our playgroup. Yes. And do you like our playgroup? Yes, I love it. And would you like to come every day? Yes, please. Hooray! <laughs> Mandy Mouse loves the playgroup and everyone at playgroup loves Mandy Mouse. <laughs> Muddy Festival. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. <laughs> What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes 
likes making sand castles. Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sand castles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! yes. Then jump! <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho! My turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello! Are you ready to dance? Yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash Give a big splash here and a big splash there Give a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish, splash Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. World Book Day. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow is World Book Day when we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, me, me too. too. Me, me too. too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes, it can be any book you like. Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow! <laughs> mummy! Mummy! It's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book! That sounds exciting! Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from! Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book! Yes! I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy 
Daddy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three one two. Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes. <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> Are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite book keeps changing. <laughs> Don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my. What wonderful costumes. Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. <laughs> Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> And you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. 476,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... I'm sure. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Peppa? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Please and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <sniffs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Peppa and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Thank you. This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr. Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes! The magic words. 
Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children. Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <coughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Speech, legs and knees. I like saying please, please, please. Thank you so much for that thing. Thank you makes me want to sing. Hands, feet, legs and knees. I like saying please, please, please. Thank you so much for that thing. Thank you makes me want to sing. <laughs> what wonderful singing, children. You will all go on the being nice tree. Hooray! <laughs> I finish cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Science Museum. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children, follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look, but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> oh, spooky! Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy! Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow! Now it's easy! <laughs> My goodness! How does that work? Well, it's, um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? Can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep here. Amazing. Oh, maybe in the future this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons. Get your magic balloons here. Are they really? magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please. All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic. 
but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. <laughs> Which explains static. What was that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me! me, me, me. Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push! One, two, three, push! Wow! I'm moving! Yes! That's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me, 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 me. It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small. Perfect. In you get, Edmund. And uh, this is completely safe for children too? Yes. The rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo! Lucky the museum has a high ceiling! <laughs> and that is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Peppa loves the science museum. Everyone loves the science museum. <laughs> Mr. Bill the teacher. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we are going to be learning all about... <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Madame Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, it is just a squeaky floorboard. I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! Oh, I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr. Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr. Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Very good, Johnny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week? Friday. Uh, fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard! Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye.
That, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking. <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! Hello, Mr Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes, it's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children! Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look, no squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are! <laughs> Mr Bull is good at digging holes. And hopefully good at filling them in again. Poems! It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children! Good morning, Madam Gazelle! Ahem! Purple woolly socks are mittens for my feet. When the days are cold, they keep in all the heat. That, children, was a poem about woolly socks. Oh, what about woolly socks? A poem is a magical way of using words that puts a picture in your mind. A picture of woolly socks? Not just woolly socks. A poem can be about anything. A lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. And woolly socks. <laughs> uh, yes. And sometimes the words in a poem rhyme. Like feet and heat. Or cat and mat. Or dog and dog. No, Danny. That is not a rhyme. That is the same word. Oh, yes. Madame Gazelle. I can't think of any words. If you can't think of words, you can use sounds instead. Listen to the wind. It goes, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> ah -ho, play time, children. <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> What can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdie bird. You are very birdie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Peppa. What about the swing? <laughs> swing, swing, swingy thing. Swingy thingy, swing thing. <laughs> Making up poems is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> ah, oh. It is raining. Oh dear, I must get the big umbrella. Splash, splash, splash. This is fun. Gather on, children. I have the big umbrella. The big umbrella! That is a big umbrella. Listen to the rain on the umbrella. It goes pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Now it sounds like... <laughs> Back to school, everyone! <laughs> Madame Gazelle, can we do a poem about the rain? What a good idea, Molly. Let's think of words that remind us of the rain. Uh, rain? Yes, Susie. Rain is rain. But what other words does rain make you think of? It's very splishy. And splashy. <laughs> and it sounds like pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And... Yes, those are all wonderful rainy words. 
And how does the rain make you feel? Wet. <coughs> yes, Danny? Anything else? It makes me feel tickly and wriggly. It makes me want to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Put it all together and we can make a poem. Hooray! It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. Hello! Today the children have been making up a poem. Would you like to hear it? Yes! Yay! The poem is called Rain. Drip, drip, drip. Drop, drop, drop. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. It is a rainstorm. Wet trickle wriggles. Making lots of puddles. Very good to jump in. Slish, slash, splosh, slish. Bravo. <laughs> Grown-ups love poems. Everybody loves poems. 